Welcome to Learning with Mo. Well, today I want to show you a really, really cool tool. I'm a big fan of XLOOKUP. And typically when we're returning values from our data set, we're writing multiple XLOOKUP statements. For example, let's take a look at our course list here. We have some course IDs. We're learning different things like spreadsheets, documents, email, data analysis, virtual meetings, and block coding. Now they all have different levels. So for example, course ID 1001, we'll learn about spreadsheets on the introduction level. The price is 129, and this is being offered on March 9th. So we don't really want to see this data over here. Right? Our customers are not really gonna see this data. All we want them to do is to be able to interact with our little kiosk here. They can simply enter the ID. It's going to return the name, level, and the price, and the date. So let's just have a quick run through of XLOOKUP. I want to return the date that course ID 1001 is being offered. So I'll go ahead and insert my XLOOKUP statement. I'll click on the Formulas tab, and I'll go ahead and insert my XLOOKUP function from the dialog library here. I'll go ahead and type X lookup. I'll press go. I'll press OK. And my lookup value is going to be my ID, my lookup array. Basically, where can I find those IDs? I'll go ahead and highlight, highlight them here. Now, I want to return the date. So I'll go ahead and highlight my entire date column. And it's already giving me the date, March 9th, 2024. So I'll go ahead and press OK. If you have not uh, used XLOOKUP before, please watch my other video where I explain XLOOKUP in detail. I'll go ahead and press OK. So, so far so good. If I change the ID, 1002, I get the corresponding date here as well. Now here's what's cool. I need to go ahead and write the XLOOKUP as well to return the name, the level, and the price. But if you notice, What's really, really cool here. So notice my kiosk. I need to write XLOOKUP statements to return the name, the level, and the price. Well, take a look at my data set. Notice how the name, the level, and the price are right next to each other. So what I can do, I can take advantage of the array capabilities of Microsoft Excel. I can go ahead and just return the name, level, and the price with just one XLOOKUP statement. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on the name box here, or well, the name cell, cell I6. I'm going to go ahead and insert my XLOOKUP function. Lookup value is still the same. Lookup array is still the same. So what is different? Well, for my return array, I don't want to just return the name. I want to return the name the level, and the price. So I'm actually going to highlight all of them, all the names, all of the levels, all of the prices. We see that it's the array D6 to D23. If you take a look on the right here of my function arguments box, we can see spreadsheets, intro, 129, and then spreadsheets, intermediate, 159. So Excel is storing this into memory for me. And it's going to actually spill over the name, the level, and the price for me. Well, let's go ahead and press OK, and let's see what happens. And look at that. I just need to go ahead and make these a little bigger. I'll expand my columns. So with just one X lookup statement, we can return the name, the level and the price. And the reason we're able to do that is because they're right next to each other on the actual data set. The date I had to do separately because this was kind of away. It was not in consecutive order, but that's perfectly fine. If I wanted to, I can move the date over into column E, and then I can just write one X lookup statement to return the name, the level, the price, and the date as well. So take advantage of the array capabilities of Excel. Go ahead and just write a single XLOOKUP statement to return multiple values from your data set.